All right, on this video, we're going to cover putting a scope on your Delta. Now, this actually came with mine, and I didn't know I was going to get one. So, in that vein, let's talk about everything that comes with the gun. So, I got a bunch of great targets. They're good quality cardboard targets, and you can keep one and photocopy it, and you get quite a few. So, that was a nice touch. You also get their pellets so they're not bad uh, that's I'm using the different wad cutter right now but you get their basic wad cutter so that's pretty cool and so also uh, on the first video I want to show the cans now I was shooting at only about six yards so as I step back you know uh, the power of the Delta is about around five pumps on the A80 so, you know, it can it can just make a big dent, um, but definitely at around six yards with a pointed pellet punched through. You can see that it cracked it right here, cracked it open right there, another pointed pellet. So, and then with the one filled with water, it punched through cleanly and yeah, started to crack the other side. So the power is okay. So yeah, so like I said, five five pumps on the A80 roughly. Okay, so now let's look at the scope because I was happy I got a special gift. I didn't see it listed. But okay, now if you look at that, that is a scope stop. And it used to be with these little brake barrels that they would just give you a basic scope and, you know, it wouldn't work out. The things would break and uh, they didn't have the integrated scope stop and so what happens for people who are new to this on a brake barrel if you do not have a scope stop and see now the delta actually has a hole right here let me see if you can if i can light it up for you it has a hole right there there we go that mates with that scope stop okay so Otherwise, what happens if you have a scope on one of these guns that isn't made for a brake barrel, what happens is it, it's called migration. So it moves back like this. It goes and you lose your zero. So that was a very nice touch of uh, Gamo not only to include a scope that I didn't know I was going to get. It's basic uh, 4 power times 32. It's a good size for an air gun. I'll give them that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show how to mount it. Now, as far as putting this on an 880 with that on there, no, unless you can take it off. No, this is uh, strictly for, your, for a brake barrel. So let's go ahead and mount that. And so you can see how that is done. And all right, so we start, there we go, there's better light. We start with that mating point for that scope stop. And so we just put it on there and make sure it's all the way back. See, it's locked, I can feel it's locked right there. And then get your wrench. And I'll just do the two in back. One right there. And be careful, don't damage your dovetail. Just get it, just get it snug, get it tight. And okay, and then I'll do that one right here. There we go, that's good. And then of course, you would do both to make sure that thing's really snug on there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, I like the hard sights on this gun and I had a certain range I wanted to use this gun. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna actually uh, scope this i'm going to take that back off but if you are hardcore about wanting optics on your air gun a lot there are people out there like that then this is what you do obviously uh to get your crosshair the way you want it um, you loosen the screws right here with that wrench and just rotate rotate it so you can get your crosshairs the way you want it but pretty simple stuff so gamo did a nice thing there and it was a i appreciate the thought of them giving me a free scope that probably at least is a thirty dollar value um but yeah so hopefully you get yours if you order this kit but it definitely listed the gamma pellets and all these great targets which i really like but yeah um expect to get a scope with it and that's how you mount it 
All right. Well, thank you.